There are two main things that were really important to Russ, and that was his, his profession, his work at, at Pan Am, and his community work. And I think that's why you're looking at him as an inductee into the Hall of Fame. I always said uh, that uh, if you got Russ as your therapist, it was like winning the lottery. We knew that that person was, was getting the utmost in the best of care. He would leave no stone unturned until he resolved whatever issue you had. If I was starting a sport medicine program, he would be the first person that I'd want on the team. The first person. Russ is it's always stuck with me is what can I do to help? That's always been a mantra for Russ, Russ, what can I do to help? And he's always made you feel comfortable. He has no ego. He's just there to help the athletes and help the people that are trying to help the athletes. I would say, and, and I'm not exaggerating, that he knew more about foot and ankle problems than all the doctors at Penn and Clinic put together. He was an absolute expert in it, and everyone sought his advice. Russ was the whole package. He came in, he, he was a certified athletic therapist before he came, went into physiotherapy. There's a big difference between athletic therapy and physiotherapy, and they bring different skill sets to the clinic and to, and to the field, and he had both, which was absolutely phenomenal. The first person that comes to mind is somebody's having trouble with their skates or their footbed or their pronation. Um, Russ is always the first call. Maybe, maybe he can't fix it, although he'll tell you he can, um, but he'll have opinions and thoughts of who can and how they can. You know, Russ uh, was always approached, especially when major events came to our city, provincial events, local events, things like the marathon, the the briars we had here, the Canadian tour golfing. And we used to sometimes think Russ went overboard with the detail that he would put together. And then something would happen at an event and you'd say, boy, it was a good thing Russ was on top of this because we knew exactly what to do. Yeah, for instance, when the professional golf tour came through, the, the golfers all would say, this is, this is the best care we've had on the entire tour. We get that a lot, uh, not just the golf, but other events too, where the athletes said, we've never been looked after like this before. I think what stands out to me most about Russ is he's worked with so many great athletes over the years. He's rubbed elbows with some of the greatest athletes that Canada's ever produced. And he's got no name drop in his game whatsoever. There's a lot of people in this world that want to make sure you know who they know. Russ is not one of those people and I think it's one of his greatest assets. I don't care if we were looking at Pan Am Games, I don't care if it was uh, you know, local hockey teams tournament or, or whatever. It, Russ was always there, always there for the community and that's what made him special. I can't think of anyone that's more deserving, has put in the time and the effort and has made Winnipeg and Manitoba his home and his pride. Russ Horble deserves as much as anybody. He is the epitome of what the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame represents.